all electric, zero emissions. Toyota recently launched its all-new electric car, which provides a glimpse into the company's electrified future, one that even includes flying cars. The EV is called the Toyota BZ4X, which sounds like something Elon Musk would name his second child. But there's a reason behind the name. Stick around to the end of the video to find out. So, what's the Toyota BZ4X? Details regarding the Toyota BZ4X have slowly been disclosed ever since 2021. So it's safe to say that we saw this one coming from a mile away. What's shocking is that Toyota didn't give it the yoke steering wheel that they said they would, like on the Tesla Plaid. Thankfully, they offer the yoke on the Lexus RZ450e, which shares the same platform as the BZ4X, just a little more dolled up. Beyond its obnoxious name, the Toyota BZ4X is an all-electric SUV, roughly the same size as Toyota's best-selling SUV, the RAV4. Oh, and as for that name, the BZ stands for Beyond Zero, referring to Toyota's 2050 aim for carbon neutrality. Future iterations probably will have the same BZ designation, but we can't promise it will become simpler to pronounce. You might be shocked to learn that this isn't Toyota's first EV rodeo. The RAV4 EV was Toyota's first electric SUV offering released over a decade ago. Also, did you know that it was developed in collaboration with Tesla? If you recall, Tesla and Toyota teamed up back in 2010 to build electric cars together, with Toyota sweetening the deal by buying 50 million in Tesla stocks. Special features. The BZ4X is the first to use Toyota's SafetySense 3.0, the newest version of Toyota's active safety technology. It incorporates well-known modern vehicle technologies, such as pre-collision warning, emergency braking, lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and enhancements such as motorcycle and guardrail detection. So we're pretty sure it'll detect you if you stand in front of it. Another first with a BZ is Toyota's over-the-air updates, which eliminates the need to take it to a dealer for updates. This car also has Toyota's latest infotainment system and software, developed in the United States at Toyota's Plano, Texas headquarters. It's important to note that Toyota has been producing electric vehicles for decades, including the Prius Hybrid and even a hydrogen-powered vehicle like the Mirai, so they're not new to this gig. They have more experience with electric vehicles than anyone else in the market today, especially Tesla. That's thanks largely in part to their hybrid revolution. They aren't far behind. Although it's known for taking its time to get things right, its products are frequently used as standards in the market. In truth, every car manufacturer is planning for a future where electric cars are the new normal. Toyota is adopting a more comprehensive strategy along with electric vehicles, hybrids, and plug-in hybrids. It's still working on hydrogen-powered vehicles as part of a larger goal to achieve carbon neutrality in the coming decades. Future Plans Toyota's president, Akio Toyota, has pledged a renewed focus on battery electric vehicles in response to unforeseen shifts in consumer demand and technological advancements. Toyota says, quote, we need to cut CO2 emissions as much as possible, as soon as possible. However, he emphasized that battery electricity can't be the only solution for at least the time being. They're also focusing on other avenues, such as hydrogen-powered cars like the Mirai, and even flying cars. As passionate road and racing driver, Toyota has often stated that he's never been interested in EVs, but he's interested in the ones they're working on for the future. As far as the future for EV models go, the BZ4X will be accompanied by a mid-size SUV, a compact SUV, a small crossover, and a mid-size saloon, as well as a big SUV with up to seven passengers, a pickup truck, and more somewhere in the future. So far, the future looks bright for Toyota. How many models will there be? By 2030, Toyota plans to offer 70 EVs, ranging from passenger to commercial, to sell 3.5 million EVs per year, up from the current worldwide total of 10 million vehicles of all the manufacturers combined. What's more, within the Toyota group, Lexus has also released an EV called the RZ Crossover, which is based on the same chassis as the BZ4X, but features a reworked design and interior with a yoke steering wheel. Toyota president Akio Toyota said that between now and the end of the decade, the company will invest $30.5 billion in EVs, including developing next-generation batteries, with a comparable amount going into hybrids, hydrogen, and other powertrains. The BZ4X is the first step in the company's Beyond Zero initiative. The Toyota EV appears to be a tall-riding mid-sized crossover with a style that harkens back to the Prius Hybrid and Mirai hydrogen-powered sedans. And despite being Toyota's first electric vehicle, the electric motor, inverter, 
gearing, and batteries were developed using decades of hybrid expertise. It was created in collaboration with Subaru, which provided its all-wheel drive expertise and manufacturing is set to begin in mid-2022. With bookings open right now, it's Toyota's decades-long knowledge of cars and its wider approach to EVs that distinguishes its strategy from its competitors, including those who are pouring everything into the development of pure EVs. Toyota, it appears, favors a wider approach to risk management. Toyota's future intentions, however, don't stop there, because things are looking up, quite literally. Project SkyDrive Enter Project SkyDrive. A Japanese startup has successfully tested a flying car with Toyota's financial support, and the company intends to make the vehicle available to consumers by the end of 2023. According to SkyDrive, the SD03 prototype, which had a pilot at the controls, began flight in a net enclosed area in Japan, where it circled for approximately four minutes before landing safely. SkyDrive hopes to commercialize the vehicle in 2023, according to Chief Technology Officer Nobu Kishi who claimed the EV aircraft is planned to be the world's smallest manned EV that can take flight like a drone. The team behind this project hopes to establish a society where flying vehicles are safe, secure, and a pleasant mode of transportation in the sky. What does SD03 look like? Even though most modern inventions take inspiration from futuristic TV shows and movies, the SkyDrive flying EV is nothing of the sort. The SkyDrive aircraft is around 6.5 feet tall and 13 feet wide, which is about the same size as two parked SUVs. The SD03 is powered by eight electric motors that power various craft components, including four sets of rotors, two front lights, and a red light that wraps around the bottom of the aircraft. Challenges. The main obstacle for SkyDrive and other companies researching similar technology, however fascinating, is understanding how to keep such an aircraft charged for extended trips. They're supposed to be used commercially, like taxis, for example. The development of better, lighter batteries that allow these devices to fly farther and longer is one of the most difficult issues that companies are facing. SkyDrive joins a tiny group of international businesses working on flying cars, including Slovenia's Aeromobile, Israel's Tactical Robotics, and California's Hover Surf, which have all been experimenting with a flying taxi. Uber, being the go-to travel choice for many, has also been testing flying taxis, with a plan to launch Uber Air in early 2023. But will it happen? Experts believe that individual air transportation will be a trillion dollar market by 2040. So it's no surprise as to why companies are investing in flying EV prototypes. SkyDrive's development appears to be the most encouraging though, as they're the only ones backed by a giant like Toyota, and the only ones with a prototype that can be flown with a pilot over Toyota's test area, including their SD3 flying car They've demonstrated that the technology can perform as expected in the real world. The goal is to introduce a new model of transportation to a society where you can fly to work rather than drive. We're getting dangerously close to having air taxis. Toyota has stated this two-seat commercial flying aircraft will be available by 2023. This corresponds to Tokyo's intention to introduce flying taxis in the city in the next five years. Yes, it's happening! In theory, a small, short-hop aircraft can relieve traffic and lessen congestion in congested cities. However, we may have to wait a long time to witness SkyDrive flying vehicles. By the end of 2022, SkyDrive, with the help of Toyota, hopes to gain clearance for flights beyond its test area. And by 2023, it aims to have a two-seat commercial machine ready for the public.